So it's said to take 10,000 hours to perfect a skill. So a skill like playing golf or playing an instrument. So if you were like me and you grew up with alcohol at basically the centre of every single social situation and you drank just two days a week the way that people in this country drink, by the age of 28 you would have drank for 10,000 hours. So we're literally creating a country and a culture of drinking experts. So we've created a drinking culture, as we all know, alcohol is at the centre of every social experience we have. We drink to celebrate a win, commiserate a loss, we drink at our births, we drink at our deaths, and we drink at every single thing in between. So Hello Sunday Morning is about changing that culture. And we're about changing it by, really for the first time, giving people the online tools and supports that they need to change that behaviour. So now, if you're looking at a social issue to tackle, you know, it doesn't get much bigger than the way that we use alcohol. And I guess what's really important there is I didn't say that alcohol is the problem, I said the way that we use it is the problem. And if you think about you know, the word use, it's sort of implying that we drink for a reason, there's lack of purpose behind our drinking, and, and I guess that's what I'm here to talk about today, it's the, the why of our drinking culture and you know, the reason behind we drink, behind the, the way we drink. So, I guess before I get to that though, something interesting that I found out the other day is we actually drink less now than we have in the past 20 years in this country. So on a sort of per capita consumption base, we drink about a carton of beer every year, which doesn't even crack the top 30 in the world. But the media tells us that you know, we're a country of, of beer guzzling, binge drinkers, and we, you know, but that may be the case, it may not be the case, but what we definitely know is that alcohol is causing social issues in this country and the way we're drinking isn't working. So that could be the story, but I don't, I don't think it's the whole story, as I said. I think the issue is, you know, it's the relationship that we have with alcohol. You know, it's not what we drink or it's not, you know, how much we drink that sort of dictates the issues that this country has with alcohol. It's the why we drink and it's the how we drink. And I think I've got a few answers you know, and a few ideas for how that sort of happens, but I brought along some of my old buddies here to sort of <laughs> tell that story. So, number one, right there. A hard-earned thirst needs a big cold beer, and the best cold beer is big. It's just like a classic slogan, probably the most popular slogan in Australia, everybody knows it, but that slogan almost captures the drinking culture. You know, this drink and that slogan is telling you that you deserve a beer, you know, you've worked hard for it, you need a drink with your friends. This is, as Australian as going to a barbecue, as Australian as, you know, going to the footy, as Australian as dealing with the hangover. <laughs> the second one, real friends, real bourbon, Jim Beam. So this one's telling you, not only is this the drink to have with your friends, but this is your best friend. You know, that's what that's telling you. And this one here, there's no slogan, it's just there to get us hammered. <laughs> so as a 22 year old, these were my friends. You know, when I drank, or I guess for me getting drunk, it wasn't a choice, it was an expectation. It was an expectation I put on myself, it was an expectation I put on all the people around me. I didn't care if you were my friend or I just met you at the pub, you were getting drunk. And when I really sort of stepped back and, and thought about why I drink, you know, I was drinking to be confident, I was drinking to fit in, and I was just drinking to deal with issues in my life. And I didn't know any other way, like we didn't know any other way as young guys. But I guess the question is, what if there was another way? You know, what if confidence didn't cost 10 schooners? What if getting drunk at every opportunity wasn't going to get me where I wanted to be in life? And that's the, the idea or the way that Hello Sunday Morning believes in. You know, we believe that you don't need alcohol to be confident, you don't need alcohol to be yourself, and you sure as hell don't need alcohol to be an Australian. You know, alcohol is something we should enjoy, not something we feel like we should need for that false sense of confidence or identity. So as an organisation, we challenge people every single day to believe in that idea. So 25,000 people so far have you know, done just like I did and taken three months off drinking, but they did a lot more than that. They actually documented that journey online and they blogged about it and they supported thousands of other people doing the same thing. So what's really interesting is that by doing that and by sort of blogging about the challenges and you know, the achievements that they make is that it makes it for the people around them that can understand why they're taking the break and they can understand, okay, this is what you're trying to achieve for yourself and, and from a wider perspective. And that actually makes it easier for that person to then take the break as well. So the other people that use HSM, so there's one, um, there's Julie. So her seven-year-old daughter came up to her at a family barbecue and, and said, Mom, do you want to play a game? And Julie got up and was ready to play and her daughter sort of looked at her like, what the hell will Mum just do? And Julie looked down and was like, why are you looking at me like that? And 
her daughter goes, oh, well, normally I say, like, let's play, and you say, yeah, after I finish my drink, and then you never do. So I'm just, like, really happy that you're going to play. And so that was the blog. And then the other favourite of mine is Betty. So she's 65 years old, and she wrote a blog saying she was so excited because the recycling bin man came, and for once her bin wasn't the loudest bin. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the neighbour's bin, and she could hear all the empties going in there. So just amazing stories. You know, and that's at the heart of HSM, and that's really why it exists, is, is those stories. So. The money we raise tonight will help us to continue to develop these tools that really are, are, are evolutionary, that no one else is doing this type of thing online with alcohol. If we raise $10,000, we'll be able to put an extra sort of 1,000 people through our program. If we raise 20, 2,000 people, and it just goes on from there. So importantly, those people, we're not asking them to not drink forever. We're asking them to take three months, just three months off to see what it's like. And we did the math, and that's 1% of your life. And as an individual, or I think as a country, if we can't take 1% of our lives off drinking, then we probably have bigger questions to ask ourselves than the ones that I asked today. So to finish up, you know, what am I asking of you? I'm asking you to be part of the change and, and support HSM and make it easier for others to be part of that change as well. Thank you.